everyone, welcome to Room 212 News, your place to find out everything that's going on in our school and in our classroom this week. I hope that you and your family are enjoying this windy weekend that we've had. Um, the fall weather surely did arrive with daylight savings time um, today, um, so I hope that you and your family have enjoyed a restful and relaxing weekend. <clears throat> Last week we sent home information about the yearbook cover contest. Uh, students were asked to design a yearbook cover um, and then we, the staff will pick the winner of or the best picture that we think deserves to be on the cover. Um, and then that's what will go on the cover of our yearbook. So if you are interested in doing that, uh, the form is came home in your child's folder. You just have to fill out the bottom information. They design a cover that they believe should be the cover of the yearbook. And then maybe, just maybe, they will be the artist featured on the cover of the 2021-2022 school yearbook. Um, this week, we're going to have a fun homework assignment. Now, I know you're like, oh, no, Mr. Dodd, we don't normally have homework. Um, but this is going to be a fun assignment. So last week, students wrote letters to a farmer about how they should save a turkey this Thanksgiving by eating another type of food. Well, this week, we're going to read a book called Turkey Trouble, and your job at home will be to disguise the paper turkey in some kind of costume to hide from the farmer uh, to save him this Thanksgiving. So that will be due on Monday, um, November the 15th. Students will share them. We'll hang up in our classroom. Um, it'll just be a fun time um, sharing what we disguise our turkeys as. Um, that'll give you this whole week, including the long weekend, to do that. Um, please take a look at the doodle um, for the second nine-week snack calendar. There are still some dates available. Um, if you're able to sign up, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, also, be sure to check your um, messages for the doodle for parent-teacher conference sign up. Um, I've sent it to select people. Um, if you're someone that's like, hey, I would like a conference, but I haven't heard from you, Mr. Todd, uh, reach out to me, and maybe I just either A, missed over you, or B, there might be a letter coming home soon um, for us to meet. Um, so check that doodle. Um, I'm making a new doodle, so it'll be a new link in this week's message. Um, I'm going to have some availability on Friday this week, which would be like all day on Friday. So if you're like, I haven't been available in the afternoon, like all my other times have been, don't worry. This Friday, there'll be some morning and midday availability for you to pick from. Um, finally, on November the 11th, which is this coming Thursday, there is no school in observance of Veterans Day. Um, and then on Friday, November the 12th, our school board decided to make that a teacher work day. Um, so there will be no school on Thursday or Friday this week, only a three-day week. So three days, and then we get a good long weekend. All right, friends, up next is Looking Ahead, where we find out what is going to happen in the future of our classroom and school. On November the 16th through the 18th, students in the third grade will take the COGAT. The COGAT is the Cognitive Abilities Test. Um, it tests just students' cognition in their brain and how they think. It's a very different type of test with very little academic um, response, but more just problem solving and thinking. So the test is broken up into three days, three 30-minute testing sessions. And so we'll be doing that during our math time the week of the 16th through the 18th. So please be sure that your child is present and at school those days so that they're able to take the COGAT and get those very interesting scores. Finally, go ahead and mark your calendars for November 24th, 25th, and 26th as we take a break from school to observe the holiday of Thanksgiving. Um, from now until then, in our classroom, we will be reflecting on things that we are thankful for and really diving in deep into things that we're thankful for that truly matter. And so just go ahead and mark your calendar for the week of the 24th to the 26th, as there will only be two days of school that week in observance of Thanksgiving. All right, friends, let's head to the superhero of the week wheel to find out who this week's winner is.
big congratulations to Galilea. Galilea is this week's superhero of the week. She is always willing to help. Woo, we all got blown away there. She is always willing to help in our classroom, especially with our uh, new student um, that is learning English currently. So she is um, another one of my go-to translators um, to help make sure that she is understanding the directions and what she should be doing in the classroom. So a big congratu congratulations to Galilea on being this week's Superhero of the Week. Up next is Curriculum Corner, where we will find out everything that's going to be taught in the classroom this week. In reading, students will be working on identifying the theme or the message in a fable. So students will learn about identifying topic and then identifying theme from the topic in a fable. In math, we're going to continue working on adding and subtracting with regrouping. This has been a big challenge for a lot of the students in our class. Um, so one thing that you can do is partner with me at home by helping your child learn how to add and subtract with regrouping just through basic practice. Um, we are learning the standard algorithm the way that probably you learned it in school. Um, so you can just write some problems on a piece of paper, on a whiteboard, um, and then have your student practice that regrouping routine um, so that they can better understand the adding and subtracting with regrouping. In science, we're continuing our study of Earth and the universe, otherwise known as space. And this week, we're going to be focused all on planet Earth. We're going to answer some questions such as, why is Earth the only planet suitable for life? And how do we know that Earth is round and not flat? So students will be doing a lot of mystery science videos and experiments to answer those questions. And finally, in writing, we're continuing our, our Patricia Polacco unit. We've been reading her books over the last couple of weeks and really talking about her as an author and how she writes about important people and important places and important memories in her life. And so this week, students will start brainstorming and gathering ideas for their upcoming piece of writing inspired by Patricia Polacco. All right, friends. Um, thank you so much for tuning in to Room 212 News. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. If not, we'll see you right back here next week for another episode of Room 212 News.